Sindhu Palcho, the district near the capital. Here lies Jugal Mountain, the nearest mountain from the capital. Not only the mountain, here are many tourist areas. Apple from Helambu is equally famous. Melamthi's water is popular as well. The district is famous for the hot water. Many pilgrims reach to the Paspokhari and Gaurati Bhimeshwar to offering ships. Since past few years, Sindhupalchok has widened its identity by the Bonjijom among courageous tourists. The state owns millions from here, but Sindhupalchok is unchanged. What to do by being naturally wealthy? The district with diversity of mountains, hills, and plains has 79 village development committees. Headquarters of this district is Chautara Bazaar, which is about 70 kilometers away from capital city Kathmandu. The district where of 400,000 people live borders with TBT and business frontier Kasa. The water from Melamchi has become the dream of dwellers of the capitals. There is a plan to irrigate the valley one day by this water. Some leaders have brighter the image by campaign about it. And some have turned wealthy, but the daily life is not changed for them who make living. With the majority of Tamangs, they are Chhetri, Nivar, Brahman, Sherpa, Kami, Damai, Maji, Danuar, and Gurung are main community of this district. Despite being near to the capital, the education level of the district is very weak. According to recently published data by District Education Office, average 60% population is uneducated. Why is so despite the fact that 60% Nepali are educated? There are some 548 schools registered including governmental and private. There are 396 primary schools, 60 lower secondary schools, 69 secondary schools, 18 higher secondary schools, and 5 campuses in the district. Why 60% people are uneducated despite so many schools? The reason are poverty and weak management and lack of educational awareness. So they are deprived of studying. The main problems are lack of classrooms and the building, lack of toilets. However, in the recent time, crowded classrooms because of growing number of students and unqualified teaching system. Some schools even running by hiring teachers from their private sources. The physical condition of school is equally weak. Children are obliged to read sitting on the ground. There is dust everywhere in the school and lack of the drinking water too. Nawalpur Secondary School, Nawalpur, where teaching learning is practiced in a building built 20 years before. Building is decaying, water leaks in the rainy season. Building built in Bikram Sambat 2045 is decaying, say teachers. Teacher Kesab Adhikari says, water leaks in the rainy season. We have complained at many concert sectors. We are hoping budget from the government. If the budget doesn't come, we have to run in the same condition. One student, Sabitra Kafli, who is studying at this school since her fifth grade tells some changes have come at the school. According to her, the change is toilet. Even the toilet also is dirty. She says the problem is caused by the lack of water and the health of community is needed. The toilet is dirty and when the water is irregular, the students have to go open places for the toilet. There is no good ground to play at the school, neither there are any playing instruments. So they have to play marbles or chungi made by a kind of wild plants. 
Students are oblique play stones in the dusty ground. Would it make a better future of this student in the age where extra activities are accessory? Guardians don't care about it. How would they do if there is no facility? Toilet is there, but no water. How would be toilet clean without water? The open door in the toilet has created problem. This is a very difficult thing for the girls, but it is the obligation here to use the open toilet. It has become a habit. There is a peon to bring water, but there is no rule. It depends on personal wish to bring water. The tank kept for the water collection is not safe. The pool make hole on it. Look at if you don't believe. Teachers don't come at the inside. They are obliged to study by sitting on the ground. Look at these kids at grade 1. They are obliged to sit on wood. The students who are supposed to study can be found playing on the road. Wouldn't be they happy if they can go to school? It is not their desire to study by sitting on the ground from the young age. Everybody says we have to study. So parents drove them to the school. Occasionally, Government organizes mission at school to increase the number of students, but it doesn't care the school building. It is said that the students are kept in such rooms because of the lack of rooms. If the demand doesn't come to the district education office, these small kids will be obliged to study in this way. How long would they have to study in such condition? Nowadays, capable parents have started to educate their kids in the capital. Reason is same for the quality education, but it is not easy. Capital city is expensive and there is prevalent unemployment. But parents are obliged to come to capital for the future of their office ranks. If there was quality education, the good teaching at village, they wouldn't come here to face such problems. The story is same who cannot educate their kids even if living in village. Krishna Bahadur Basnit, who lives at Khatritol near Nawalpur Bazar, is unable to send his four children to school. Though the government has brought the policy of free education, one has to manage clothes to go to school. Father Krishnavadur said clothes is reason for not going to school. Lunch is needed in the school that is available only when they owe themselves. How would be the education is there if there was children friendly school with clean environment and sport facilities? There is obligation to wait at from education office. Problems are same, but schools are different. Mahendra Secondary School Kuncho Teachers are less in number, so all eaten home earlier. The playground is small too. Principal says there is lack of building. There is no science lab. Let's observe Mahendra Secondary School Kuncho for some time. Here too, students playing on the dusty ground. For many of them, the school is better place because there are no schools nearer than this. There is dusty environment. Ground would have been better. As Bahadur Tamang says, teacher's number is less. Principal Ganasham Yadav says, school is not well managed because of a small compound. He says, there is no sufficient building. Number of students is sufficient but building lacks. If the district education office helped, condition would be improved. Some don't come to study at Pumeshwari Primary School located in Tingpal Capri. Some of them prefer to go to his work. Teachers don't come to teach the remaining. The teachers who come hesitate to speak about school. Why many admitted students don't come to school? It is because of lack of any monitoring institution in this disadvantaged residence. It must be because of the teacher's absence, otherwise why students' numbers would be less at school. Another school at Bimeshwari Secondary School, Bemtar. There are no windows at the building built two years ago. The flow of students is high. There are some 700 students. The school is near the Danwar and Maji community, though these ethnic communities are 
the highly marginalized community. District Education Office has not granted any aid. Marginalized communities in other districts get education free of course, but here is obligation of paying for same reason some don't want to come to school. School is full of problems. Teachers don't know how to teach. Management committees for the name sake only. How would young children study at such environment? How could we imagine the school without window, classrooms, teaching materials, and playing ground in the 21st century? Toilet is a far cry. Would it be possible for the today's children to be base of the soldier of the country? Isn't it the children's fundamental right to study at proper environment? Sindhu USA Welfare Society has begun an effort to find answer of all these questions. Are you going to be the part of this mission?